Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. The Rio Olympic event has continued to go on for two weeks now, so I'm actually late on the game. Well, I've been busy mostly doing other videos, and it's been a while since I've done my Peanuts reviews of all the specials and shows and even movies. So I decided to review a special that came out on March 19, 1979 that aired originally on CBS and it's the 18th primetime special called You're the Greatest Charlie Brown and I first saw this special when it aired on Nickelodeon yeah because I didn't watch that many uh, specials even at the time but at least I, I had a chance to see this one when I was watching the Snoopy Bowl weekend yes it actually aired on the Super Bowl weekend which is interesting because they didn't air it uh, you're in the Super Bowl Charlie Brown at the time <laughs> but I, I remember it was part of the uh, you're on Nickelodeon Charlie Brown block when Nickelodeon started to play all the Charlie Brown specials at the time after they left the Disney Channel so I figured well I would love to check it out and I did it was fun and by the way it's available on the Peanuts Collection 70's uh, Volume 2 set which is right here on the back and I just got that as part of my birthday gift along with uh, the Peanuts 70's Collection Volume 1 set right here yep has everything I also have the same special on the Peanuts Emmy Award Collection as well as uh, you're a good sport, Charlie Brown. It also includes that because it's part of a double feature that focuses on sports. So there you go. But it was worth it. Um, and man, in fact, maybe someday down the road I might review You're a Good Sport, Charlie Brown. Or maybe I might review it uh, later on if we get a chance. So I just want to review this special because this was actually um, another good special from Charlie Brown and I really enjoyed it. Had the idea about what was it like if Charlie Brown had to enter the, the Junior Olympics along with uh, Marcy and Snoopy you know, dressed up as the Mass Marble by actually entering uh, the Kathleen event. It stars Aaron Skelly as Charlie Brown, Michelle Miller as Lucy Van Pilt, Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock as well as the announcer, Patricia Patz as Pepper and Patty, Casey Carlson as Marcy, Daniel Anderson as Linus Van Pelt, along with Schroeder, Tim Hall as Freddie Fabulous from Fremont School. He also does the voice of Pigpen as well. And they also include Mel Blank for doing the grunting voice for Charlie Brown. Yeah, mostly when he was lifting up the dumbbells and all of that that he had to work on. It's created by Charles M. Schultz and is directed by Phil Roman. The special begins when Charlie Brown decided to enter the Junior Olympics only to find out that he's not going to summer vacation after all. But the only thing that was left open was the decathlon, which all the kids refused to join because they thought that this would definitely be a tougher event for everybody. But Charlie Brown decided what, why not? Even though this was one of Lucy's tricks by forcing him into joining in the, the Kathleen. Anyway, Pepper Patty, who is now the school coordinator for Charlie Brown, decided to help him out, training him to do, you know, eight laps in the track, as well as lifting dumbbells all the way, as well as throwing the discus and, um, and even the javelin throw. Either way, he was there for training you know, along with Snoopy you know, working out for him and Marcy just watching him showing all the encouragement he needs. And that's good. So during the first day Charlie Brown is being introduced to his competitors by having Marcy be part of the team as a backup because unfortunately Charlie Brown couldn't do it as much but he figured, why not? 
And he's also teaming up with Freddy Fabulous, who's a jerk. He's actually from Fremont School. Defending the Decathlon champ and also calling the Charlie Brown a pumpkin head. Yeah, totally insulting him. And of course, the Masked Marble, which is Snoopy, dressing up, who's actually from Ace Obedience School, which, of course, no one has ever heard of that school, but there you go. So anyway, they were being placed in very well with five events that they had to do. But it's enough for them to place him third place after the day is over. Which it made it up for Charlie Brown, of course. So everything was going great for him. Until day two arrives when it, at first it started out pretty bad for him. Because he felt very nervous by having to deal with all the pressure he needs. I mean, he actually performed very badly in the 110th uh, high hurdles. Only knocked down all but one hurdle during, and suddenly finished the last mile. But having to deal with um, all the tough talk that he needed for Pepper and Patty, you know, following the, her advice, that he got better and better as it turned out. I mean, he went on to the, the pole bolt, and he actually won first place for that. And... He also does the disc kiss and the javelin throw as well. Everything was going great. Even though uh, Freddy actually had screwed up. I mean, when he tried to do the high jump, he actually... <laughs> he fell in, almost uh, hitting his crouch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just after uh, the Masked Marble had tried to do his, and yeah, he, he screwed up. Yeah, but then again, you know, he also screws up uh, with the, <laughs> the disc kiss and uh, the javelin throw and all that. Yeah. But anyway, Marcy's also uh, competing very well. And in fact, she's even getting better and better as it follows. In fact, she's like the lifesaver for Charlie Brown. So everything was perfect. So every event that he tried all went out pretty well. So the only, the last event that he had to do was he has to run the the 1,500 run to finish it all off after competing all nine events so that would definitely make him a, the school's hero and of course Lucy's just being shocked thinking that this the whole world's gonna end yeah right before her eyes because after all Lucy's is a bitch <laughs> of course well, Charlie Brown did thought that he was going to be the school's hero and win his victory, just like Bruce Jenner, which I know we already know now as we speak. But this is back when he was an athlete. <laughs> so let, let's keep the politics out of ourselves. Anyway, he was about to run as fast as he can, already uh, going on top of all the rest of, of the competitors. But suddenly he started closing his eyes and you know, dreaming that he would win for victory. But he winds up running in the wrong track. He actually ran as fast as he could out of the field. So he lost the race, sadly. However, because of all of that, the school won. So Marcy was the real winner right there. While the Mass Marble and Freddy Fabulous has already been tackled completely into a huge mess. So, <laughs> that was really, really messed up right there. But, other than that though, everything turned out okay. You know, Marcy was lucky that she won and, and Charlie Brown congratulated her and, and she even gave um, a wink on him after she left off her glasses and says, I think you're the greatest, Charlie. It's a great special. I really enjoyed it. Definitely worth watching if you love uh, the Summer Olympics or any other kind of Olympic event. Definitely the perfect choice for the Peanuts game to have. And it's also interesting that this special is only nominated for an Emmy. Which didn't win, sadly, but that's okay. What matters the most, though, was that 
This was a great special that Charlie Brown has to offer. And I really love those moments, you know, when, <laughs> you know, the Mass Marvel was always uh, trying his best to, to compete against him, but he's always uh, screwing it up, like, for instance, with the discus that I mentioned before, that <laughs> it keeps chasing him around, and then the, <laughs> and then the, the pull bolt, as I mentioned already, was uh, where he was trying to actually... Uh, go over the, the pole, but then suddenly he got stuck because the the neck brace that he has on his neck got stuck all the way straight to the, the pole. And he was trying to, to get down, but he's, he's all choked up. And so, because of all that, you know, he, he actually bounced off and, and he failed. Especially when he was also trying to high jump, where he was trying to uh, do exactly like how they all did it. Yeah, because I know Charlie Brown did it, as well as uh, Marcy. They did a very good job. But Mass Marble, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky, because he actually bounced off from the stick. Um, but of course, Freddy also had screwed up, because... It actually hit his crouch. Yeah, really messed up. But hey, I guess they were really lucky no matter what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love the special. It was fun. Yeah, Charlie Brown would have been so lucky if he had one, but that's okay. I mean, at least he, he went into first place during some of those events that he did. So he did great. I mean, despite of that, and everybody cheered him on, you know, despite of some of the, the mistakes that he made. And Marcy was lucky, too. I mean, she did everything that she could, so it was perfect. Check it out. It's fun. So I give You're the Greatest, Charlie Brown, four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.